Hi students, so welcome to Pediatrics Predictor Series for your upcoming exams and today we will be talking about a very important question, a very important topic for your exam related to pediatric rheumatology. Now remember every exam of yours will have a child with pain abdomen and palpable purpura. So remember you will have a patient who has pain abdomen and non-thrombocytopenic palpable purpura. So remember, you should think about the most common vasculitis in children, which is called IgA vasculitis. So we call it as IgA vasculitis or henot schonlein purpura. So remember, there is IgA deposition. If you do a skin biopsy, you will find IgA deposition in the dermis. Now, important for your exams is, first of all, whether you get a child or an adult with palpable purpura, you should know the ULAR definition. The European League Against Rheumatism definition for Henoxolin purpura or IgA vasculitis, which says you need to have palpable purpura without coagulopathy or thrombocytopenia, and one of these criteria diffuse pain abdomen, a typical postprandial pain abdomen because of mesenteric ischemia, arthritis or arthralgia, a biopsy showing predominant IgA deposits, and kidney involvement, which is mostly microscopic hematuria with or without proteinuria. So the questions for the exams are, what about kidney? Remember kidney according to the current edition of Nelson's textbook. Remember the current edition of Nelson's textbook is the 22nd edition, which says kidney is involved in almost 30% of these patients. What do you see in kidney? You see microscopic hematuria mostly, with or without proteinuria. Now when do we biopsy these children? We do biopsy if patient has severe nephrotic range proteinuria, so if it's a nephrotic nephritic range proteinuria, or if there is a rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, we do a biopsy. What do we see in biopsy? We see mesangial proliferation with mesangial IgA deposition. Remember, repeat after me, mesangial proliferation and mesangial IgA deposition. Now, when do we give steroids? Remember, we give steroids if there is severe pain abdomen, not for every HSP. If there is severe pain abdomen after ruling out intussusception, we give steroids in nephrotic range proteinuria. So we call it as nephrotic nephritic syndrome. And we give pulse steroids if there is severe IV methylprednisolone is given if it's a rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. So if a child has rapid deterioration of the kidney function, we do a biopsy to look for crescents and we give pulse IV steroids. Remember, it's a very important topic related to pediatric rheumatology. Do remember that when you're giving your exam. Thank you.